talking about stressful situations, what is one of the most stressful situations you found yourself in on the field, and how did you respond to it? Did you accidentally buckle and learn from it and get stronger next time, or did you just power through the play um, and house whoever was in front of you? I think we all, as players, go through situations where when you're on the field, you you get beat a couple times and you might be going against a pretty good player early in your career and you might not know how to handle it first but going through those experiences and just getting that that uh that experience with your your teammates and stuff like that, learning it, most important thing is learning from it um i feel like once i was got to my senior year and nothing nothing uh nothing bothered me i mean we were down we were we started only six and uh had a freshman quarterback and all that, so it was, it was definitely it's definitely a difficult time being an offensive lineman and playing in college, but you, you definitely have to fight through it. Now, what was it like playing with an unexperienced quarterback? Did you have to protect him more? Was it did you uh, kind of align him on what was happening on the play? We just, we just had to have his back, no matter what rain, sleet, or snow. We just had to have his back. Um, he didn't play that many games. He played a, two games for us, but. Just being in that situation, me being a senior, one of the captains on the team, I had to, I had to go up to him yeah. during the game and just talk to him myself and just tell him, look, we got your back. No matter what happens on this field, you can always look to us. So that's part of growing up and part of becoming a better leader is just taking guys under your wing, just like that. So. Now, who have you had as a guidance of how to be a leader? Because not too many people are good at taking people aside that need to be aside versus the ones that need to be yelled at in public. Yeah. Who taught you how to be the man that you are today? Um, or help guide you? I, I started with my dad. He's a huge influence on my life. Uh, he just, since day one, he's always showed me how to be a leader since I was a kid. You tell me every day you're a leader, not a follower. Um, and my position coach, uh, Coach Barnett, just told me to kind of get out of my shell. You know, I, I'm, a, I'm not a real loud guy. I'm kind of a quiet, quiet guy. But um, I had to be, I had to be somewhat vocal this year and do more than lead by example because of the team we had. So. Now, but what was that transition like coming out of your shell? Was it hard? Do you think you have done it? Um, no, because I. It just it kind of felt natural because I've always been able to speak speak my mind and never question if I was right or wrong. Just always had confidence in what I believed. Um, it was just more of me realizing that I have the power and people will listen to me and I have a, a powerful speaking voice when I choose to say what I want to say. So. Now, how have you been using that towards your advantage with the combine experience so far? What has it been like? I know you went through the medicals. Um, did you get cleared on everything? And have you had any interviews yet where you had to be nice and loud? Yeah, in uh, terms of the medical, it's, it's a lot of, uh, it, it's a lot. They want to see everything that you've ever done, every injury you've ever had. I didn't have a lot of injuries in college, but I've gotten two MRIs and a bunch of a bunch of other tests that it's just crazy but I know that this is a business and they wanna they wanna see their investment going to the right into the right place. So, um, yeah. And do you have anything lined up? Like do they give you a heads up of what your day is gonna be like who you have interviews with or anything like yeah. that or does so, it just happen on the fly? So I didn't I didn't have any formals this week. Uh, there's a, a, a ton of informals the first day, second day. Um, I got a couple a couple informals lined up today. And just, what are informals like? They're just uh, just meeting with uh, just a team like the scout or assistant, and them just getting to know you better. Um, uh, May I ask who you had some informals with? Uh, the Lions, the Forty uh, ers the Bears, the uh, Broncos, the just a lot, just a lot. I have the Seattle Seahawks lined up and uh, New Orleans Saints, so I'll be meeting with them tonight. Now with all the informals, what have you come out of it? What have you learned? Like, do they ask you strange questions, or is it just... A lot of the questions are similar. They want to they see your knowledge of the game. They want to see how well you... Chalkbook talk? Yeah. 
how well you know the game, how well you know your offense. Um, and if you know, if you just understand football in general, you know what I mean? So, just those type of things. Nice. Now, what are some of the strengths um, or some weaknesses that you have worked on in the postseason so far? Uh, just my nutrition and conditioning. That's been a, a real, not a real issue, but something I know that going on, going to the next level, I have to really take seriously and really just hammer out so that I don't have any issues with it. Um, and just overall strength. And where have you been working out at? Ignition down in Cincinnati. Do they have any prior NFL coaches working with you or players or anything like that? Um, they work They work with the Cincinnati Bengals. They help out. Um, I know Luke Keekley works there. Um, AJ Green's worked out there. Just a ton of really good players. Do you I like see, it there? Yeah, it's a really good place. And who do you see? I'm sorry. Uh, Cliff Marshall. I mean, uh, uh, Ignition down in Cincinnati with Cliff Marshall. Yeah, no, I, what, uh, this is kind of a new format here in the NFL with, you know, the bench press back there in front of the fans. Is that something that you enjoy? Um, it's definitely a, uh, something new, something I did not expect coming in, but I feel like it's something I, I want to do. I mean, it's, we're at the NFL Combine, and the biggest, the biggest stage in the world right now, um, you're always, you're always being watched. So coming up here is it's not nothing different because people are watching you 24/7 throughout these four days. So being that, from a smaller school, I mean, it's that, your school. It, it wasn't D2, but you know, it's it's not one of the, the Power Five. Is that is an event like this important to kind of showcase what you can do among your peers? Um, yeah, it's it's, it's important to uh, just come in and just compete in everything you do, especially tomorrow. Uh, today, today with the bench press, um, just showing that competitiveness and uh, just coming out there and um, showing what you got. Just showing people that just because you had a in, a in the MAC conference doesn't mean that you don't that you don't belong here. So.